हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टूडेज टॉपिक इज ई आर पी एंड वैल्यू चेन सो बिफोर दिस टॉपिक आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू वॉट इज वैल्यू चेन यू ऑलरेडी नोज अबाउट ई आर पी वॉट इज ई आर पी इंटरप्राइज रिसोर्स प्लानिंग बट ही एर वी विल टॉक अबाउट वैल्यू चेन फर्स्ट यू हैव टू नो अबाउट द ओवर व्यू सो ही एर आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू दैट every business leader understands the importance of a sound strategy to take their business to the next level developing this strategy requires a close analysis of the business and a keen understanding of the key drivers but knowing what to analysis is sometimes tricky so that's why this is when the hard work starts fortunately there are many number of strategies gurus who have already done the hard work from for us by assembling a number of very useful frameworks that focus the analysis efforts on to key areas of the business so we need framework but which framework we have to use it so that's a problem so for that purpose frameworks developed to analyze those areas of the business okay so michael porter of harvard business school developed a number of very useful frameworks one of which porter's value chain analysis which we will talk about okay so here porter's value chain analysis every organization whether supplying goods or services have a value chain that is the collection of activities that are performed by a company to create value for its customers porter's value chain analysis dissects the organization activities into a generic value chain and highlights the key tenets of value creations in the value chain so value creation creates a competitive advantage of the organization okay the strength of porter's value chain analysis is the focus on the system and activities with customers as the central principle rather than or on department and expense categories it links systems and activities to each other and demonstrate what effect this has on costs and profits okay so now we will talk about how we can use this analysis okay so in this diagram you can see here two axes are given first one is primary activities and y axis is secondary activities and whatever in this analysis activities will be coming there are nine activities we are using which are divided on two categories primary activities and secondary activities okay so just uh, i want to tell you that what are the primary activities i am really sorry for that because this image is too much blur but no problem when i will tell you then you can understand what is written in the diagram okay so here first one which are in x axis primary activities so primary activities have five activities are there first one is inbound logistics second one production third one outbound logistics third fourth one marketing and sales and last one is services those are directly add values to the customer and consequently add value to the business also now we are coming on the y axis that will be called the secondary activities secondary activities are included organizational structures personal management research and development and procurement those are support the organization's primary activities and will also affect the value of the business okay now we are coming on the key benefits of erp on scm as you know already what is scm scm is supply chain management okay so what are the key points so here there are only four key points benefits are there of the erp on scm so first one is improved supply chain network so erp provides complete visibility across the supply chain network 
which is highly impossible in the manual process with the implementation of ERP an organization can monitor all the status and activities to all suppliers plants uh, storage facilities and all the member of the supply chain which makes it easy for communication throughout the network okay next one minimize delays Minimize delays are many supply chains which are not configured with the ERP systems have already placed complaints over poor business relationships and as well as loss in business. Some of the general complaints are late shipments from vendors, slowdown or cash crashes on production lines, logistical uh, errors in uh, distribution uh, distribution channels okay next one is enhanced collaboration enhanced collaboration shows ERP helps organization to have a control over all the suppliers and distributors this creates the ability to know what they are doing all of the time ERP bridges the gap between supply chain partners okay and last one is reduce cost all our knows uh, all our wants to reduce their costs so what are the how you can reduce the costs and erp can help to reduce expenses in many ways it can help improve inventory management facilitating just in time model or quick responses models which eliminates the strain about the availability of raw materials and therefore the need for storing the raw goods can be eliminated okay these are the key benefits of scm in ERP now future direction in ERP how your ERP have a directions for the futures okay so first one is new market so new market means a uh, software offering to demand on the basis of reduced functionalities next one is improving the implementation methodologies for the faster development removing the entry prices to make it financially viable and last one is using the platform such as ms windows so that your cost will be reduced and they are working in the new market next one is new channels how new channels work as all the vendors being forced to market their product in the world of small business they made their software product more affordable by lowering the prices for each module and by ramping up the total cost by basing price on user licenses okay for example uh, what known companies oracle offering the lower price softwares from companies such as platinum software and great plain softwares another one is jd edwards provides less expensive versions of the one word suit next is faster implementation methodologies as to implement the whole business it has to go through re-engineering process this may cause a complete change in the business model working previously and thus also find it difficult to implement sometimes only 10 to 15 of 15 percent of the implementation takes years to complete and by that time implementation cost may increase to make this implementation of packages more convenient the erp vendors are searching for faster implementation methodologies like accelerated sap which you can say asap is a program introduced by sap this program takes the knowledge gained from r by 3 implementations which are another architecture of the SAP R by 3 implementations and consolidates this expertise in a product called the business engineer. This helps to configure the SAP modules to confirm to the processing style of same 100 business operating scenarios. This methodology uh, reduces SAP implementation time to less than six months in many cases. Next one is business models and BAPIs to review and simulate changes to a business model implementation teams needs special types of business model tools. The products such as the Intel Corporation live models provides the views of R by three process 
data models and functions. Live models is OLE complaint. The R by 3 model can be manipulated and documented through OLE applications such as Microsoft Word. Business application programming interface BAPI are sets of methods that allow to external applications to collaborate with R by 3 business objects such as accounts, employees or customers. Okay. Last one is new business segments. After stabilizing in business enterprise environment, ERP vendors are trying to deliver specialized variants of their products to the business segments such as government, healthcare, retail environments, and financial services. Some vendors are offering their services in more specialized areas such as demand forecasting of sales, automation and marketing, and supply chain management that is PeopleSoft, which are very popular uh, software or LMS which are bought red paper software to improve its sub, uh, supply chain applications. BAAN bought Aurum software for its Aurum customer enterprises suite of CRM tools and also teamed up with Hyperizen uh, solutions to strengthen its financial accounting, budgeting and reporting solutions to BAAN's distribution and manufacturing modules. So these are the future directions in ERP. Now we are going what trends can be looked in an ERP system. So if many trends are there which uh, we can see our ERP system will be more enhanced. But if those trends are working correctly then 100% sure ERP system will be more enhanced whatever you want to make it you can take it from the ERP system. So first one is big data. Organizations have turned out to be more subjective of IT and therefore they have aggregated lots of information that has been normally by using analytical devices. Organization can start to utilize this information to make accurate forecasts that will help in proposing business strategy. Next one is cloud ERP. It will uh, proceed to rise and will be largely acknowledged with most ERP systems, decreased expenses in capital users and IT resources, enhanced flexibility and maintenance, and in addition, improved security and failure improvement will make the cloud attractable to all organizations. Next one is acceptance of ERP software by a small and mid-sized business with expanded ease of use and cloud arrangement choices, small and mid-sized businesses will look for the additional values of an ERP system. Decreased cost to adopt and implement ERP will make it a suitable asset for organization for all sizes. Mobile ERP accessibility. The organization's employees, executives always need real-time access to various information at any given time or place, either it's workplace or on site. Therefore, it is believed that organizations will start accepting the mobile ERP to deal with ERP reports, dashboard in real time to perform quicker decisions. Next and last one is social media trends. Number of ERP merchants have been seen the value of web-based social networking and have integrated it into their systems. They even have made their user interface like the well-known social media channels where the clients and the vendors can have live interaction about ERP. Sales, customer services and marketing can interface with clients and customers allowing for purposeful marketing activities and increased brand loyalty. Now we will go for the difference between ERP and ERP2 which are the updated version of the ERP. Okay, so here first you have to understand what about the ERP2 has often been described as the new and improved ERP enterprise resource planning with ample justification because it has many advantages over most extent ERP system which typically address finance, 
and administration issues with an emphasis on serving logistics supply chain and warehousing functions okay so first one is debunking the erp second is myth how erp second has become the talk of the day in the enterprise world erp second features are said to be advanced when compared with the former former erp however some it as a mere extension of erp it becomes very important to analyze erp second in this context next one is industry specific erp second applications the main drawback of erp former erp is that it is a generic applications which remains less focused on specific functions however erp second believed in restructuring erp rather than restructuring the business process in the name of business process reengineering or others next one is flexibility of erp applications erp former erp was a rigid applications when it comes to the question of handling functions but on the contrary part erp second could not only integrate different functions from different departments but also different functions from different industries last it differences web centric applications erp second facilitated access to the internet and made it a part of the working component even though erp was a web friendly application but it did not make full use of internet but they served as a means of support okay so these are the difference between erp and erp second next one is erp and e business okay so erp and business, as you can see erp has different different processes are there which you can do by the erp so first you have to understand erp gives an opportunity to standardize and automate business process which results in increasing productivity and in reducing cycle time but do you think that just it is sufficient for today no because nowadays we need e business okay so what e business can do e business has changed definition of enterprise systems it pushes erp from inside core to network edges it extends erp to accomplish b2b and b2c systems uh, business to consumer systems optimizing organizations internal value chain and enhance and redesign business process and multiple things e business can do so first you have to understand that what is a traditional supply chain then only you can integrate e business on the supply chain okay so in this diagram you can see spread what are the traditional supply chains here first you have to customer order received then order entry will do then manufacturing will be start whatever data will be there then it will be storing on the data warehousing then after uh, uh, after uh, store in the data warehousing then you have to do distribution and finances after that production delivered will be start then payment will be start received so these are things happened in traditionally now we will start on the e business process so in the e business process at the typical erp systems have five major processes are there okay so what are the five business pro uh, sorry a uh, phases process before our typical ERP have five uh, major process. Before that, I want to tell you that what are the e business terms are there. So, e business terms are four terms are there B2B, B2C, C2B, and C2C. Business to business that applies to businesses buying from and selling to each other over the internet. Next one is B2C applies to any business that sells its products or services to consumers over the internet. Consumer to business applies to any consumer that sells a product or services to the business over the internet. Consumer to consumer applies to sites primary offering goods and services to assist consumers interacting with each other over the internet. Okay, so now we are coming on the five major process where first one is 
finances, logistics, manufacturing, human resources, and sales marketing. E-business starts with suppliers, which manufacturing of product, rendering of services, and providing the service product. So, next are coming technologies involved are in the e-business. What are the technologies are involved here? First one is CRM, customer relationship management, which already knows customer into analysis for better operating efficiency. Next one is OLAP that will be collect, collate, and Analyze data for decision making. Now, GIS integrated with SCM for best delivery routes, EDI, digital networking and automate procurement and supply processes, EFT accepts and make payments between the trading partners. So, these are the technologies which are involved in e business. Now, I hope you all understand about all the things which I told you in this video. Thank you.